Hello, office. So a lot of people have been asking why we moved. Uh, our lease on our previous space was up and it was a little bit on the smaller side um, and rents were going up. So I figured as long as we've got to go to a new space, uh, let's go to space that can grow with us uh, over the next few years. So that brought us to where we are right now. When we first looked at this space, it looked completely different. Uh, it was monotone, it was one color, it was kind of drab, the carpet looked a little dumpy. So we kind of techno buffaloed it up. Uh, so we walk right through the front door. We've got our mascot here. This is Shia the Buffalo, just, uh, just chilling out. We'll show you guys also everybody's desk set up. Uh, I'll talk a little bit about what we're planning to do as we get more moved in. Since we are sort of working here, as we're also trying to set up, things are taking uh, quite a while to do. So, come on in. Uh, the first thing that you see, first thing that you see when you come into the office is uh, our lounge. Uh, we use this for Twitch streams. Usually, we have live traffic up on our TV. That's the Vizio uh, P series. That's a 70 inch 4K TV uh, that we unboxed and uh, took a first look at. We've got pretty simple setup. We've got uh, two couches set up here. We've got a table. You can see some of our uh, controllers on it. Uh, we've got all major consoles underneath here. Uh, we've got the PS4, Xbox One, and uh, the Wii U. Uh, we've got uh, a PC that we use for our Twitch streaming. We've got some capture stuff. And we've got this Lenovo sort of all-in-one that we use to see comments during our Twitch streams. Um, we've got some drop cams that we use just to sort of monitor the office and just some decorations here, like the Nexus Q. Uh, so first look here at everything here, just some setup, how it looks, you know, in general. Um, let me go and show you guys the uh, studio. So this is definitely, it's probably the most sort of work in progress thing uh, that, we've, uh, that we've had. First thing which I kind of thought was most fun is our recording sign. So since we are recording, we'll flip that on. So here's the studio. This is where uh, Ron, Mark, and myself spend the majority uh, of our time. You can see there's still a lot that we need to do. Uh, this is probably the set you guys are most familiar with. Uh, we use this one you know, the most because uh, it was easiest to set up. We had the wall painted blue, put up a couple pictures when we were done. Uh, we're using uh, an up desk, it's a standing desk. Um, pretty easy, it's a white top, we can use dry erase on it, and we can adjust the height if we want to do a hands-on or just be standing in front of the camera. Uh, this wall, you're going to start seeing in a lot of other uh, videos, we're still kind of getting it set up. we got some minion pictures we're going to put up, we're going to interchange a whole bunch of things here. Uh, you can see some of our lighting equipment down here. Uh, I've got a chest where we store our camera equipment, which is currently a C100 uh, and a 60D, actually two 60Ds uh, that we use. This wall here, we're going to start using uh, a bit more. These are just kind of cardboard shapes that Roy put up uh, for us. I've got some LED lights. We want to backlight them just for change the color. You'll probably see this set a lot in uh, some of the B-roll that we use. Usually, we got Ron or Mark holding out a device like this, you know, doing some B-roll uh, against that wall. And uh, behind me looks just like some plywood. Uh, this is our last set that is still under construction. Roy is building this for us. You didn't know Roy is super handy. Uh, this one, I'm going to keep this one a little bit of a secret what it's going to be. Uh, there's going to be a lot of wood involved uh, in how this is uh, going to look. Now, hopefully we'll get this up and running though, uh, the earlier part of 2015. You see some of our lighting equipment here. One of the cool things about the new office in the studio is that we finally have LED lights in the ceiling. Uh, so we don't have to have the same elaborate lighting setup we have. We're not fighting outside light. We're not fighting really bad uh, lighting, you know, the normal office lighting. So we can sort of film almost anywhere, which makes life markedly easier here. Uh, so this has been sort of a quick first look at our studio. Let's keep walking. Uh, and then we've got sort of desks set up here. Uh, this is Brandon. Everybody knows Brandon. Probably what read up, all of Brandon's stuff. Um, when we tried to get our desk, we wanted kind of a collaborative workspace. We don't want just cubes all cubed up. Uh, so we got these sort of little pull-out things you can sit on and are all storage. Uh, this is Brandon's setup. Uh, he's got a 13-inch MacBook Air setup with uh, kind of a cool uh, dock and a custom stand that... It's by uh, Rain Design. Dude. It's by Rain Design yeah. and a stand that he bought from the container store. Here's the gaming PC uh, that he built. He and uh, Ralph have very heated contests on this. Most recently though, they're playing Minecraft. They're still uh, pretty into uh, the Minecraft. So this is, uh, this is Brandon. Uh, next, this is the back of uh, Ralph's side. Ralph isn't here right now. Ralph was in Sweden with Todd uh, at an event for Volvo, which is uh, kind of neat. Ralph did something kind of cool. He went and bought uh, an arm for uh, his monitor so he can make it look a little more seamless. Ralph is a very organized fellow. Uh, he wants everything to look kind of just so. So here's his setup. Uh, usually he's using a 13-inch MacBook Pro. Uh, there is his uh, gaming PC as well down there uh, with his Dell monitor and some comic books and uh, that kind of stuff. If you move anything on Ralph's desk, even like a quarter of an inch, he always knows. So I'm going to leave. Leave that one alone. Here's Mark's desk. Mark is uh, very into wood, as, uh, as you can tell. Um, things are very streamlined and uh, modern looking here. Uh, Mark's got uh, the setup looks very nice. Got a lot of docks and all kinds of other things here. Mark does all of his editing, editing as well as Ron uh, in Adobe Suite, so primarily in uh, Premiere Pro. 
um, we'll go ahead and take a look at the last taken uh, desk here. We've got a few open ones as well. Obviously, we want this for, uh, for growth. This is Ron. Ron didn't do much. Ron's a simple man with uh, simple tastes. So here's, uh, here's Ron's setup. And we've got a couple open ones as well. Uh, I'll show you one of the op cool open ones that we're uh, using here. Uh, we are currently testing a uh, 3D scanner, which is kind of cool. Uh, it's by Matter and Form, paired with a 3D printer. Uh, it's an Athena uh, setup here. So this is going to be coming up for an upcoming review. We got this paired to a um, Lenovo, I think that's the uh, Yoga 2 Pro, um, and a few other PCs we've got set up that we use for kind of a ton of, uh, uh, of different things here. I'll take you guys to the, uh, the back of the office here. This is our kitchen. Um, kind of, we tried to make it look a little modern. We've got our gray carpet and kind of the faux black floor, the white cabinets and the blue background. We've got an espresso machine that gets used like a super lot. Uh, another open desk here, kind of using for storage. This is kind of where you can see we're definitely not fully moved in yet. Things are just kind of absolutely everywhere. Uh, primarily, we use Macs in the office. Uh, a lot of the editing, uh, at least when I used to do it, uh, got done in Apple's editing suite. And the guys here are familiar with Premiere Pro uh, on the Mac side. Ron did a lot of the editing for the first almost eight months he was here um, on a custom Falcon PC using Premiere Pro. We switched everybody over to make it consistent, which is easier to be able to uh, airdrop files back and forth. This is the back of the office open for room for expansion. We've got our Z-board we use quite a bit. Some of our packing supplies and stuff uh, are still here. Stop the office tour, just real fast, don't, don't get mad at me. To thank our friends at Full Sail University. As you know, virtually every industry relies on software and tech. Full Sail University, located in Winter Park, Florida, offers a bachelor's degree program that addresses the need for skilled tech professionals to curriculum that blends code and theory with that real world experience. Offered on campus, the software development bachelor's degree program teaches programming fundamentals through project-based coursework, allowing students to graduate with multiple completed software products, yay! The mobile development bachelor's degree is offered on campus and online to teach students how to develop apps and utilities through courses both for iOS and Android. To learn more about Full Sail's web and technology programs, check out fullsail.edu slash technobuffalo. Now more tour. Uh, this office here has primarily been used as our photo studio whenever we've got uh, pictures or galleries or Brandon's doing guest the device. This is usually where it always gets shot. Um, this office is just open for right now. We're using it mostly for storage. Use it for um, as we grow. This is Sean Ani, our editor-in-chief, and this is Sean Ani's fat head. Every year, Sean grows a crazy mountain man beard. He sent us a picture one time, uh, and we printed out and made a giant fat head of it. So when Sean comes out and works out of the office, uh, this is where he uh, resides in this open office. And here, we've got Roy Choi doing, as he tends to do, Roy Choi things. Hi, guys. Uh, this, this is uh, uh, Roy's office. You can see he's got his manatee, doing manatee things. Gentle sea cow. He is a gentle sea cow. This dock, paired to a uh, 6 Plus, we actually 3D printed on that 3D printer you just saw, which is, uh, is kind of cool. And uh, Roy is uh, flexing on his monitor setup uh, <laughs> right here. So this is just kind of what our desks look like. Um, kinda simple, a little bit on the modern side. Uh, we've got an older LG TV that Roy uses. We've got a remote control. What's that? The, the RCF, the RCF uh, Lexus with uh, Xbox 360 and PS3 back there. Uh, Roy likes to race that around once uh, work is done. I think it's fast. Uh, so this is Roy's office and Roy Choi doing a lot of Roy Choi things. So I'll go ahead and uh, keep doing the tour here. I'll show you guys where I spend the majority of my time. You can see a lot of stuff here still not up on the walls and just a lot more left to go and a lot of clutter <laughs> we still need to uh, iron out here. But this is my office. Oh, lights on here, things are just. Uh, and this is, looks you know, very similar to Roy. Uh, I've got two chairs here. We do all of our conference calls every week um, in my office so people have places to uh, sit. These are the chairs we had in the old office. I just kind of moved them in here. Nothing else overly exciting. I got some family pictures. I got some storage um, up here and desk down below and that's kind of it. Uh, we've got, these are what I'm testing right now. These are the Beats Solo 2 Wireless. Uh, I'm reviewing this guy right now. It's the uh, Elgato Thunderbolt Dock uh, 2. So that kind of does some cool stuff. Uh, we've got a Retina iMac. We've got some, got some monitor and some phones that I've been uh, been testing, and that's kind of it. I got some Bose speakers kind of set up on uh, on both sides. I've got an old, super old at this point. Uh, this is a Sony Google TV. Uh, this thing's probably like five years old. We had an extra one. And I had open walls, so we kind of mounted up on the uh, on the wall here. It's plugged into a Chromecast. I usually have got the site Chromecasted up there. Uh, let's go back out to the hallway. And that's really it. This has been an office tour 1.0. We obviously got a lot more. 
left to go, a lot of sets left to build, and a lot of walls left to decorate. But we're getting there. Uh, we're only two months in, so hopefully another two months uh, we'll be able to do another one and show you how things have changed. Uh, anyway, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed taking a tour of the Techno Buffalo office. Until next time, I'm John Rettinger from, obviously, Techno Buffalo, and I'll see you guys next video. Bye-bye. Thank you guys for watching another Techno Buffalo video. I hope you enjoyed. We love consumer electronics here, and if you are as passionate about them as we are, hit the big subscribe button. We've got new videos coming at you every day. We talk about phones, tablets, laptops, and everything in between. And if you like video games, check us out at Twitch, where we play video games, although admittedly not very well, at twitch.tv slash technobuffalo. All the links are right down below.